For this next phase, I need to put up a steel for the radial vaults in the center section of the house. The first tricky bit is that the vaults need to be set up at the right elevation. So I built this little stand to set up the steel arches. It basically has a car jack on it. I'll also link to the video about getting the steel arches rolled. Once the steel arches were positioned correctly, I drilled holes into the concrete ribs and then hammered in steel pegs made of rebar and then welded the arches to the rebar. Now I just need to do this a bunch more times. This third section is a bit unique because the arch needs to tuck into the sidewall, so I'm actually cutting away some insulation so it'll fit. The next step is adding the radial rebar. These are essentially straight 20 foot long pieces of half inch rebar and we started by tying them on. Moving on to the third vault now and you can get a better idea of what we're trying to do. Rebar isn't just being dropped randomly. I had pre-marked the locations on the steel arches so that everything would line up properly. This detail is all worked out in those engineering drawings. Here I'm drilling holes for the rebar to go into that central tower. Then the final ingredient, for this phase at least, is adding the curved rebar pieces. To make the curved pieces, I simply measured the length at each index and cut the pieces to that length. Then we curved the pieces into half circles. The correct radius just came out naturally in the math. If it was a little off, the rebar was flexible enough to accommodate. Actually, I usually made the radius a little small so that it would hug the vault and make things easier to tie. We then tied the rebar arches into place with the right spacing. Again, all specified in the drawings. I'm sure the drawings were over-engineered, but I also further exceeded those requirements to make sure that it passed everywhere. There I'm re-measuring a few so that I can bring up the right pieces for the right places. In the end, it's really the concrete that will hold these rebar pieces in place. But in the meantime, my family needs to climb all over them, so we did end up tack welding at all the intersections. This makes the whole thing so much stiffer and safer to climb on. Yes, there's a general rule against welding rebar because it can reduce ductility like a heat treatment. However, if you look, you'll actually find 81 pages dedicated to when and how you can weld rebar. No worries, I have a couple engineering degrees and I'm following all the rules.
We're done with the vaults over the concrete, and I need to move the scaffold over to the dirt. So I'm using my self-leveling laser, a gift from a deer pro, to make sure that I can maintain the exact vault height without the level base. We're getting the hang of the procedure and made a few improvements along the way. For instance, I got smart enough to start marking the steel arches before hoisting them up in place. We also started just putting the clamps on the steel arches and then resting the rebar on the clamps instead of actually trying to clamp the rebar. Pretty soon it was no problem, even when your crew is just tween boys. From this view you are seeing the end of the rebars, in other words they don't go all the way to the middle. This is because the vaults are radial, and I needed fewer pieces on the narrow end to get the right spacing. I like how this view also included us rolling the rebar arches in the background. In this step, I'm using a spirit level to mark the ends of the rebar, so I can cut them off in a curve that exactly follows the profile of the steel beams below. Here, Michael and I are measuring lengths again. In theory, these six 30 degree vaults are all the same, but I wanted to measure each one again anyway. Here's a good view of the rebar bender. It was much easier with two people, especially for those longer pieces. By this point, the boys are pretty good at tying off the rebar. I think the flash shirt looks even better at high speed. And now I'm trimming off the rebar ends with a grinder. These are actually some pretty pleasant days, great weather, good chat time with the boys. You can see Michael enjoys playing with the camera because he knows that later that evening we'll sit and review the footage together. Actually, if you'd liked us on Facebook, you might have already seen this clip because I also posted it that evening.
I had decided to sell my skid steer because it was tearing up the lawn too much. But one last job was moving some of the sand inside before we built the south wall. Man, I love that skid steer. So that is the steel for the six 30 degree vaults all in place. There are four more special vaults, but I'll break that off as the next video. I'll leave you with this night lapse. <laughs>